Hello, beautiful magi. Magus and Asha here on a beautiful night. We're going to be in Asha 3 today. Go ahead and grab your book. Go to Asha 3. Asha 3 says, I have the mind of Christ. In Zoroastrianism, we call that Vohumenu, the God mind, where you and God are one. You have that realization that God mind is in you. It is you. It's your true identity. My only job is to align with, you know, Zarathustra in his Gothas talks about I who am attuning myself to Mazda, to that wisdom. Where do we find Mazda, wisdom, Asha, right? Inside the God mind, Vohumenyo. My only job is to align with. So we go inside and we attune ourselves. We hold continuously the attributes of God. What are they? love, right? It's a pure God love that hate, fear, greed, violence, dis-ease, it cannot enter into this atmosphere of my pure love, life, peace, right? We create our atmosphere. We don't let outside influences tell us how we're going to vibrate, what frequency we're going to hold, because we know the energy that we are is the world we create. So we're going to create our peace. We're going to change atmospheres. We hold joy. We hold power and freedom. We be those attributes, right? That's to know it. Asha 2 talks about knowing only God, uh, only good. The highest principle, God good, right? Unmixed, undefiled, undiluted. That's Zoroastrianism right there. It says we be those attributes. My mind is God. Again, it's that vohumenu, that Christ mind. It is God. You come from God. You're made of God stuff. But my thoughts are not always God, right? Sometimes we can let our thoughts go off, get some stinking thinking and uh, get negative. But we're here to make the world more positive. So we can't lose ourselves in that. Sure, you're going to get negative sometimes. Sure, you're going to question things. Sure, you're going to get upset in this mixed world. But we can't live there, right? we we got to go back inside and attune ourselves to that. Let's grab Asha Come. I've been really enjoying reading through this. Maybe we need to put this book out again. You know, it's it's out of print, but it's so good. Listen to this. Love. What are we talking about? We want to hold the attributes of God. The first one was love. It says love is an unstoppable force. I am love. That means I'm an unstoppable force, right? As we hold these, we become a mighty unstoppable force. What can stand against pure love? What can stand against God good? Evil cannot enter God good. When you have that realization and that attunement, that alignment with God and love and peace and joy and power and freedom and the magic that the Magi are, right? We're an unstoppable force. It says, I love the next page, a new thought, new destiny. Maybe you've been stuck in old thoughts, old ways, but a new thought, you could have a new destiny Make a new world, a better world. Let's turn the page. It says energy. Opens doors and makes a way. What energy do you hold, right? The doors that are going to be open to you have to do with the energy you're holding. Are you maybe opening some doors you don't want open with your energy, right? Make sure you check it. Do energy checks. Uh, oh, this is cute. Resonance. It says, the universe responds to your vibration, stay high, right? Stay in those high frequencies. Don't let things bring you down. Uh, real above all real. I hold my focus on the highest truth and I enter Asha. Oh, this is good. Say Oshant. I am one with my God, my good, right? That's I have the mind of Christ. I have Vohumenu. I'm one with God. There's no separation. That's beautiful. Oh, listen to this. I got, I'll read one more. I was going to stop there, but look at this one. Gift. Something only you can give the world. There's a gift. You're here and you have something to offer nobody else could offer. Oh, that is so sweet. I love that. You want to pull some cards? I'm not ready to leave yet. I just kind of popped on this evening. I was just thinking, you guys, I love spending this time with you. Nothing really good on TV. So I thought I'd just come over here and 
just spend some time with my friends, do a little prayer, a little meditation. Just feel good. I just pull some. Ah, I get this one a lot. People are going to think, what's wrong with you, Magus? <laughs> uh, our hearts, right? We're just talking about what, what do we hold in our heart? we got to make sure we're not holding old wounds, right? All of us have had things done to us that's not right and uh, not fair, uh, but we don't want to hold on to that. You know, swords represent thoughts. And as we're just learning in Asha 3, we want to hold the right thoughts, the right attitudes, the right energy. And these thoughts can be the wrong energy. And you know what I do? I take this card and I shake it out, right? It's got the heavy hilt there and I just shake it and I just feel all of those bad thoughts just popping out at me. Pop, 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 right? Shake them out. If you got some bad thoughts you've been holding on to, maybe someone you haven't forgiven, you know, uh, d you know, just let it go. Uh, maybe you're not ready to forgive them, but don't let them uh, keep that energy inside of you. Uh, just know they messed up, they're wrong, but you're not going to hold that bad energy anymore. And then replace it with good energy, right? My only job is to hold love, life, peace, joy, power, freedom. Hold the attributes of God, the thoughts of God. Hold Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. And, and you know, as we're holding this new energy, we're going to be opening up different doors, making a different, brighter future. And, and these won't be hanging on like that anymore. But you, you got you got to make that choice. Shake those out. Shake those out. Let's pull another one. Oh, I love the Hermit card so much. This is about going inside. And we're talking about this Vohu Manu, the Christ mind. Uh, you got to go inside. There's a light inside of you, that divine spark, that Fravashi, that Christ mind, that Vohu Manu, that we're going to tune ourselves to. We're not going to let the outside world influence our frequency and our vibration. We're going to go inside. I always like to look at the bottom of the deck. Let's just see. Oh. <gasps> I love that. Eight of Cups. I just love that. It's so adventurous, right? You got the sun and moon, kind of like an eclipse thing going. You got this guy wandering. He's leaving his cups and he's heading off. And it looks like he's maybe along some tidal pools, which I love. And then kind of a little mountain feel. I don't know. I just, I love the feel and look of that card. You know, um, a lot of people notice that he's leaving standing cups, this could be things that people in the world think are so important. Could be riches, you know, beautiful girlfriend, you know, uh, just material things, uh, things that seem so important, fame maybe. And uh, he's just like, you know, I've had enough of this. And he, he's going off uh, seeking. Now, of course, as he's going off, well, where is he going? Of course, the, the sun and moon eclipse, it, it's intuition. I take that as he's going inside. The, the adventure he's taking, uh, a lot like the hermit there, but they both got their walking sticks and their cloaks. and uh, But he's going inside, right? Kind of leaving the material and go. he's hiking to the spiritual. Same as this. This is going to the spiritual. Going from the outside to the inside, from the material to the spiritual. Ah, oh, that was fun. I love it. I'm so grateful. If anyone's still here, what are we, eight, nine minutes into this, go to the comments and just say hi, because I love you so much. Are you guys loving our image of Asha? I can't take my eyes off of it. You know, for you that have been with us for the 10 years, we, we always talked about protecting a child, protecting Asha, protecting that frequency, uh, protecting the message, right? And is it like Asha's all grown up now and protecting us, holding us in, in in that truth and that light and that love. So beautiful. Thank every one of you beautiful magi that that love Asha, that hold Asha, that, that preach that highest truth, that God that is just good. And if there's someone new here, three things we teach here at the Order of the Magi. Restore God's image. He's been misrepresented as getting angry, jealous, hate, war, killing men, men, women, and children. Horrible stories, right, in, in so-called holy books, good books. Not good stories, my friends. God's been misrepresented. In the original religion, God was just good, unmixed, undefiled, undiluted, just love without the hate, peace without the war, just the highest principle of good. And if we'll restore his image, 
and take that God, that spirit, that idea into us, and, and we be it, we become one with it, we, where there's no separation. You and that God good are one. You might have to let go maybe one of the gods you were given uh, that are mixed energy and not very nice and warring and hateful and stone your children. And, you know, you got to let those gods go. And you go to the back to that original, that pure light, that pure good. My friends, you take that into you and it becomes you. You start to create that in your world. And we call that Asha. That's why we love Asha so much. Asha, to me, is everything. You know that. I mean, it, it's, it, it's a little orange book that changed my life. It's a little orange book that brought so many friends into my life. Uh, it, it's my God. It, it's the very spirit of God. It's my peace. It's my joy. It was my healing that set me free from OCD and depression. It was just it, Asha is my everything. I love Asha so much. I love you guys so much. I love this family that we created here of Magi, of people that love Asha, love truth, love a God that's just good. My friends, so we restore God's image, number one. Second, we take that into us. We become it. And then number three, we create with that energy, with that truth, with that spirit. I love, love, love you.